Hey friends, welcome back. This is the perfect time to thrive community and Mastermind Friday. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope you had a wonderful week and uh, I wish you a great weekend ahead. Back to the point, be resilient. I started this series, let's say, about a month ago. Yeah, this is part four. And uh, I love uh, your comments and your, uh, your backups for that. I really love it. Okay. What does it mean anyway, being resilient? Before we dive into that, let me ask you something. Have you ever felt that you need some something extra to move forward? Or do you feel that you can do a lot more? I guess the answer is yes. It happens to me all the time. I need some extra energy. Uh, I can do a lot more. That's why it's very important, it's crucial to be resilient. It's part of the game, part of the life. Uh, for today, let's see some points uh, how to become more resilient. I guess you're you're interested in right. How can how can we become more, much more resilient? Okay. I collected let's see four points for today. Okay. Number one is reframe your negative thoughts. Well, it happens a lot, right? You see something, maybe a ne uh, negativity comes in. You hear an, uh, a news, a news somewhere. You watch the news. You hear something. You meet someone, and there is negativity. It happens a lot, but if we reframe that, if we reframe that, it helps us to be more resilient. Every problem has its solution. So if a negativity comes in, somehow we can find a positivity in that. So reframe your negati uh, negative thoughts. Second one, seek for support. There is someone who faced this kind of problem before and somehow you can find some advices from someone, okay? But please, look or ask for someone who faced this problem before and solve it. And if the person is able to share the opinion, uh, the advice with you, it can be supportive. Okay? I love books as you see that. The books have many answers. I love the videos, the webinars, the seminars, the podcasts. Because there is someone who faced this problem before. If you have a mentor, a mentor can help you in that. If you are in a, uh, in a good community like this, we can share ideas. So seek for support. Number three, focus on the things what you control. There are many things we can't control, right? It's not up to us. We don't have, we don't have a, a power to change some things. Not within our control. But there are many things we can control. We can control ourselves. We can control how, how we start the day, what we do during the day, how we finish the day. You can control it. You can control how to communicate with others. You can control your feelings. Maybe it's not easy, but you can control it. You can control your thoughts. That was number one, right? Reframing the negative thoughts. So. Focus on the things what you can control. It helps a lot. Number four, manage stress. We have stress. It's part of life. It can be a pumping power for us. And it can be a tiring force with, uh, for us, right? So manage the stress. Do some exercises. Any kind of sport. Try to sleep enough. Eat and drink on the right way. Eat and drink with the mind, okay? Read, listen, and watch positive things. It can help manage stress. Be among, if you can do, among positive people. In great communities just like this. It can help you. And once you can manage stress, you can be much more resilient. So. Let's, let's make a summary. Number one was reframing negative thoughts. Number two, 
seeking for support. Number three, focus on the things you can control. And four, stress management. You can manage it. If you, if you focus on these four points, it could be a base of building a higher level of res, uh, resilience. Okay? Almost said resistance, something like that, but resilience. Okay? Next Friday, we will summarize the whole four parts together. Okay? But for, the, for today, these four advices will help a lot to build a higher level of resilience. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message, a private message or uh, under this video, and see you soon. See you next week.